From Eyewitness News, this is Breaking News. We'll get back to the prices right in a few minutes, but we have some breaking news to tell you about out of Pawtucket, where right now firefighters are on the scene of a house explosion that left at least two people injured, including a baby. We have some live pictures from Mineral Spring Avenue. As you can see, it appears to be a three story home with portions of the upper floor severely burned and damaged. The explosion happened just after 10 a.m. Police tell us that a man and a baby who lived on the third floor were injured and taken to the hospital, but there's no word on the extent of their injuries. A woman who lived on the same floor made it out safely. Fire crews from Pawtucket and several surrounding communities are on the scene as we speak. Pinpoint News Tracker gives you a better idea of exactly where this is happening. 422 Mineral Spring Avenue in Pawtucket, just a few blocks from Samuel Slater Junior High School. We caught up with police at the scene just a few minutes ago about where things stand right now. And once the fire has been extinguished, then we will make a determination, along with the fire department and the state fire marshal's office, whether or not this was a criminal act or an accident. It's a tragic event, to be honest with you. Um, so we're just hopeful that there are no uh, severe injuries. We have some amateur iPhone video of the scene sent to us by an Eyewitness News viewer. You can see smoke billowing from the top of that three-story building. Now here's another live look. As you can see, it's still a very active scene. Again, we've learned one man and a baby have been taken to the hospital. There's no word on the extent of their injuries at this time, and it's too early to speculate on what caused the blast. We have multiple Eyewitness News crews on the scene as we speak. We'll bring you live reports on this breaking story in about a half hour on Eyewitness News at noon and continued updates on WPRI.com. You can also get updates online at WPRI.com and on the go with our iPhone, Android, and iPad apps. We'll see you again with another live update at noon. For more on this breaking story, stay with Eyewitness News or log on to our website, WPRI.com.